Hello, it's Orgami Dog, or Paper Puff these days, and welcome back to Caves of Quad. Last time I started a new video and died almost immediately, so <laughs> we're gonna have to start this over again. We're gonna be using the new build that I put together as a test. We'll call ourselves Puff of the Books, because it, that makes sense to me. We're gonna be reading a lot of books, and we're gonna dive right in and start making friends right off the bat. At least hopefully, hopefully these guys are actually worth making friends with. Love, hated by girl folk, oh well. I'm not gonna make friends with this guy. After all, Joppa is okay and all, but you want to make friends with larger factions than some random village in the middle of nowhere. Like, eh. What about you, my friend? No one likes you. Horses hate you. How could you be hated by horses? Come on. In fact, these guys are such weird jerks that I'm going to steal their stuff. <laughs> Not that I wouldn't do that anyway, because I kind of needed to live, but, you know, so is life as it is. This item is engraved the scene for the life of the ancient sultan, Xerox III, at 524, uh, sorry, 524 BR. Uh, the III won a decisive victory against the combined forces of Karapur at the bloody battle of Briny Havoc. As a result of the battle, Barney Havoc was so dev devastated with torrential glass storms that it was renamed the Glazed Dunes. Darn. Just turned into like a... a sand... like a... It just turned the entire place into glass and sand. Jeez. What a horror. Free yuckweed stem, I'll take that. Apparently if you chew on yuckweed stems, you can cure diseases, or... At least try and prevent diseases from happening in the first place, which is almost as good. Let's trade. Buy some blood, some more bullets. Got two artifacts. We should hopefully be good there. Sell the rock, rock armor. We don't need that. We have night vision, so we don't need torches. Get rid of these weapons. Ah, I'll hold on to the long sword for now. Let's see if there's anything good over here. Ah, sharp steel sword, you say? I can't afford it. Darn. Already have a chrome revolver. We could buy some water skins, I guess. Let's buy one of those. Sure. Bam. I probably should have examined what these were first, because a box of crayons we can't sell to our guy for experience points. And I should also take care of this, because we don't really need it. There we go. Good. Let's head on north and look at our secret. We're gonna take things a little riskier though. Once we're done with the little dance we do around Joppa Town, we're gonna jump right into the depths underneath the Joppa and try and see what happens. The one around Samas, Kuyoshid, discovered Delip Knot. There he befriended apes and helped, a, helped sack a village and burn his homes to the ground. Wonderful. <laughs> so we wanna go to Sames, huh? Okay. Let's see where Sames is. It's actually pretty close nearby. Let's, let's head over there. Yeah. Or get lost immediately. <laughs> I guess that's what happens. Hey, crocodile friend. You are now my friend. You'll fight by my side and we'll try not to get killed by Snapjaws. Look at that. Wonderful. And the Snapjaw had absolutely nothing, so... Uh-oh. I just realized I forgot to turn in the grenades. Whoops. Let's head back to Joppa then, in this case. Hopefully our... Crocodile Frank can handle these snap jaws. Ooh. Feathered shoes, I'll take that, thank you. Lacquered fur, what club? Eh. Look at that, they managed to slaughter their way through most of these enemies. Two headed sword, take that. Glowfish corpse, wow. Snapjaw Corpse. Wow, there's a lot of water here, but luckily for us, we're not really in danger from it. Glowfish Corpse. Oh. Oh, hold on. We got an engraved Masterwork Short Bow. This item is engraved with the scene for the life of the ancient Sultan Zerdok the Third, somewhere in 5139 BR, after having made enemies with a collective. Of the collective of gladiators, the Sultan of Quad was assassinated. Because Zerdok III's transparent visage, he was chosen as a su successor. Transparent visage? Is he like a, like a ghost faced? Okay. 
I'll take all these, thank you. Hmm. Well, I guess we're good for now. Huh. Snapped out corpse, nothing. These guys have nothing on them, which is weird. Well, you know what? I'm fine with that sometimes. We don't need to worry about carrying around junk if they don't have nothing. Let's see here, what do we got? Is that everyone? I think that's everyone. Outskirts of Joppa, we should be fine. Just add left, add up. There we go, good. Hey, our guy. I kind of forgot to talk to you earlier, but hey, you want a tra you want a grenade? I got a grenade for you. Stun gas, that's right. And an acid gas grenade. There we go. Conduits, good. Head up. Head to some. Uh oh, get lost. Navrapur, okay. I was hoping to hit some um, some Amish or whatever it's called. <laughs> well, we'll see. Whatever it's that some Amish could probably kill us. But as long as we're careful about it, we can get some free experience and just kind of, you know, come back there later when we're a bit better leveled for whatever's going on there. Take your time. Do not rush through ruins. You can get yourself killed really quickly. Like this guy here is going to be a real big jerk. Well, in this case, Freezing Ray. Nice. Sorry, Crocodile, didn't mean to shoot you. No, shoot, shoot that guy. There I go. Yeah, come back here, Defoid Miner. I know you're here somewhere. Come back here. Alright, he's got away. I kind of wonder if our Crocodile can swim. Oh, is that a Defoid Mine? I will examine it. Yes. Disarm it. Yes. Ow. That hurt the plants, not us. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> Honestly, getting some free experience for defusing those grenades might be a good idea. Still bad for the plants, but we're not a plant, so it sucks to them, I guess. Where is that miner? I want to destroy him. He's tough, so he's going to be worth some experience points. I know that. Not sure where he went, though. Luckily, it's not one of the more deadly miners. If it's like a explosive miner, whoo! There it is. Look at this thing. I'm gonna teach him a lesson. Or, well, it, it's a robot, but still. <laughs> Look at that! 225 experience points! Woohoo! Freezing array level 2. Oh! There we go. Let's look at our stats. We could buy weak spotter pistol stuff, but we're not going to bother with any of these. We're going to go to customs and folklore and buy the first step. Now I can make 25 bonus points whenever we um, make friends. And then with trash dividing, we can discover more secrets. And then after that, we, with a little bit more ego, we should be able to make extra points by sharing our secrets. Attribute points, we're going to spend it on ego. Bam. Intelligence will raise up on, on its own. We can just let it grow the slow way. Sucks, but we have to do it. Trash. My crocodile friend is actually living alive a lot longer than I thought he would. Typically, they die pretty darn quick because crocs are actually not that tough, weirdly enough. When you think of the crocodile, you think of this big, tough, leathery, well, reptile. And you're, you're right, but in this game, they're pretty much made of paper. Don't ask me why. Somehow a moth is tougher than they are, <laughs> you know? <laughs> See some big moth. Dang. Well, hopefully we should be fine. The miner was going over here, so may there's some sort of huh? May there's another mine around here somewhere we can try and defuse. Ooh, that campfire is really burning something though. And there's a chair. Hey. Let's see what these tubes are. They're probably just chairs. But yeah, there it is. Equip the shoes. Good. Now we're a lot friendly with birds, because feathered is actually great. Look at this, see? Plus 250 reputation with birds. Like, oh man. They can get enough feathered and scaled stuff. They can actually talk, talk, talk to uh, Quetzalcoatls, or whatever they're called. Big flying feathered serpents that fly around from South American folklore. They can breathe fire on you, so <laughs> making friends with them is a good idea, because I don't like getting burned alive. 
We got treasure over there. Quite a bit of it, too. Okay, come on. Oh, oh, that's a... That's a uh, horned chameleon. Got this, Croc. He got this... Yeah! Well done, Croc. You're just covered in blood. Not even that hurt. Or may you really hurt. I don't know. Two-man longsword. Let's go ahead and take that. See what's in this house. Nice. And in here we have... Ooh. Some good stuff. We actually got some decent brains. We might be able to start... Uh-oh. It didn't explode. Good. Walking stick, wooden buckler. Eh. Let's see here. We got a salve injector. Good. I don't know what this is, but we can actually head back to our guy and have him fix it. And then identify it for us, because that's good. I know you can actually know what it is. Having some decent luck so far, I gotta say. I'm feeling pretty happy with this. We don't have, we don't have anything on our face. We got a woven tunic, nothing too special. We got occasions, we've got plenty of pistols. Speaking of pistols, let's, let's oh, uh, let's go turn off Akimbo. Akimbo can burn through your ammo really darn quick, and we don't have too much ammo. Like, we have some, but 244 goes a lot faster than you think it would, because you miss a lot of shots, too. There it is, the Moss. Oh. Engraved shortbow. Okay. Let's enter a name. How about we call it, um... Fishy Launcher. Hooray. Give it the old magenta color as well, because... Fishy Launcher has, is apparently named after Glowfish, so it makes sense to me. You gotta be extra careful here, because I think the fish are the ones who worshipped this area. And... Oh, what the? What am I looking at? What is that? Creature. Uh, okay. Not sure what that creature is, but all we can do is freeze it. Bam! Ha! <laughs> Take that, creature. Weird. Did not properly generate a creature type? Huh. Hello, birds. I hope you're friendly. Also, there's a lot of books here. You don't mind if I take these books, do you? No, why would, why would you, why would you that mind? There's a lot of water here. Weird. And a lot of books, like, wow. I got to find a lot of lizards here, okay. Nicely done, Croc, you got this. Oh, we're, I think we're bleeding. Freezing, right? Okay. Let's go ahead and use our bandage that we have on ourselves. Fly. Oh, I guess we're not bleeding anymore. Is this bird hostile to us too? No. <sighs> okay, I think the salamanders are going to be hostile to me now. That's okay, we can handle a few salamanders. Our crocodile should be able to do it. Oh, we're going to lose a, a, a fight in the... <laughs> it's a lizard. We are losing bad. Okay. Luckily for us, we also have spells, so <laughs> we're just going to freeze it. Whew. This place is flooded with, with water, huh? There's a mysterious creature over there. Hmm. Well, it's certainly... Oh, it's a crocodile. Ah. All right, we're going to freeze. Three, two, one. Boom! Boom! Croc, help me fight them. Help me fight them. Oh, no. Alright, you know what? A Kimbo's coming on. We're gonna just shoot this bad boy. And get him out of our way. Whew. Okay, okay. The freezing ray should be ready in a little while. Ah. Okay, and freezing ray. All, everything that's in there. I don't know what it was. Everything in there is now dead. Hopefully. Woo. You can see why we run out of bullets real darn quick. Freezing ray is not ready yet. Okay. 
That's our crocodile. Whew. She's not doing a very good job protecting us, though. <laughs> Help! Crocky, please! Crikey! Help us out, please! Oh, no! Okay. Okay. That was a lot of enemies. Let's just dance for a little bit and get our recovery back up. Or, uh, not use freezing ray. There we go. Whew. All right, you and me, Croc, we're just going to stand here and we're going to do a little dance until we're all better. Okay, whew. Glow Crow Corpse. Are these hostile? They are hostile. Okay, come on. Croc, you got this. That's a bear. Bear, what are you, what are you doing here? Hey, bear, how about you join me? There we go. The crocodile is pretty beat up, and I really, really could use the help. Are these birds hostile to me, too? No, they're fine. Hmm. Well. Oh, okay. They don't seem very happy with me. But if all they got is salamanders, we're going to be fine. Hopefully none of these bookshelves are actually mimics in disguise, because then I would be in some serious trouble. But hopefully that's just not the case, you know? Oh, I can't. I can't. There's too many of those guys. And these guys seem to be not hostile, so let's go. Ahead. That's fine. We're going to steal your books. They're my books now. So are these. And so are these. And so are these. <laughs> I will gladly take all of your books. Thank you. This is quite the library over here. I thought this was a tavern. Okay. Look at all these bookshelves. What is insanity? And that is slime. Okay. Close the door. Don't want to deal with any slime that might spawn in there. I don't think they... I think they have to be like primordial ooze to actually spawn in that. But, you know, we're not taking any chances here. There's so much water. I have to eat something. Get. <laughs> eat. I hope the salamanders don't mind that I just ate one of their own kind in front of them. They don't seem to mind. I guess that's fine. Ah, oh, hello. Nicely done, bear! That's the way down. Uh, that's beetles. Oh! Bear, why aren't you helping me here? We are going to sprint now and hopefully live. Okay, Bear, you are going to stay there and take all the hits while I heal myself and wait. Oh, okay. Bushwood Bark, please don't confuse me. Ah, confuse me. Okay. Yes! Okay. Okay, go, Bear. Go, fight. The bear is losing. Okay. Aha! Well, they can open doors. That's not good. Okay. Okay. There seems to be a vent that's spawning beetles over there. That's wonderful. I'm not sure how to stop this. Ticking vents. Ah. Well, that's... That's good. I'll freeze you, and I'll very kindly just shoot you until you die. Okay. Uh, the door cannot be... Oh, no. Get corpse. Fire. Fire. Please win. No. Fire at... Yes, good. What am I going to do with this? Corpse. Okay, corpse. Drop. No. Look. Ah. No, oh, okay, I, I don't know. That's not good. Okay, so we are really hurt, but hopefully not dead yet. And they hopefully won't come this way until I am... You know, I'm just going to leave. How would I just leave? That sounds way better than standing around in front of that door. i got to close that door, too, and hopefully it stays closed. Oh, well, I met a bear. I uh, made friends with the bear, and then the bear died. Oops. But hey! We're alive! 
And we have an absolute, like, treasure haul of books. Hey. Are yours books? That's right. These books are mine. Oh, hello. Okay. I'm going to freeze you now. No, okay. Hopefully the other salamanders not see me just murder two other salamanders. I know that they did. So I think I'm home free. I'm going to try to leave now. Because you know what? This haul of books was very, very good. But I am not going to risk getting killed. So <laughs> let's just leave. <sighs> Hello. <sighs> that was pretty scary. I'm lost. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, how about we just head this way and then we leave this way? Hello? Can you speak English? No? We need to find merchants or farmers or something like that and try and get their advice on stuff. Though, I guess going back the way we came is pretty safe because we already killed everything that was here. So, you know, that should be good enough for us. No one here? Okay. Head down, see what we got. Nothing. Okay. You know what? That's fine by me. No one killing us is probably good enough to, to for me, huh? Let's leave and head back to Joppa. Or oh, I'm lost again. <laughs> Darn it. I am so bad at, at directions. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, crocodile. You know what? Crocodile... I shouldn't have done that in you, though. I kind of did because the bear was much more of a threat and way up my grill. Also, you were not doing a good job of protecting me. Protect me, Squire. <laughs> I need protection from these, like, savages, dude. There I go. Okay. Do I even have a weapon? Am I just fighting with my bare hands? I am fighting with my bare hands. All right. Sword. Get <laughs> That'll do it. Actually, I think I have a good dexterity compared to strength. So we're going to carry around the iron dagger and hope that's good enough. You know, we're here. Let's, let's go downstairs a little bit. See anything? No? We're leaving now. <laughs> I'm not going to stick around because I can so easily die to a glow moth or something else screen with a gun. So we're just not going to let that happen. <laughs> ah. There we go. Look at that. 1v1. Our crocodile wins because our crocodile is awesome. Something happened over here. Snapshot corpses, huh? Were we here before? Maybe we were. I think we actually were here before, huh? But let's leave. Head back to Joppa. We're now in Joppa. And let's see what we can get. Oh, okay. Well, Tam, I have some stuff for you, my friend. Uh, <laughs> a torch, some daggers, some random weaponry. There we go. Look at all that. I got my fishy launcher, which I'm going to actually hold on to. And, you know, let's buy some arrows for it, too, because I get the feeling that the arrows are going to be useful. So let's buy a lot of them. Whee! There we go. And some steel arrows while we're at it. Why not? What else has he got? He's got a chrome revolver. He got some nuggets. I'm going to buy some nugs. Some of these. There we go. Offer. Actually, no. We want to tone down a little bit on the arrows just so we can not have to pay an extra dram with the water. There we go. Because they always round up in the favor of the AI, so... This way we get an extra gem of water and you can take one less arrow. Oh no. <laughs> break, don't break the bank now, you know? Speaking of breaking the bank, here's Tam. Let's trade. Okay, he's got a security card, he's got a bunch of stuff, toolkit. You could actually ask him for... to repair this for five grams of water. And we can actually simply identify it for three grams of water. It's a compass bracelet. If I had known that, that would have been great. <laughs> Uh, or this is the chance of becoming lost by 10%. That would have been great, considering we got lost three times in the course of getting to that dungeon. Oh. 
But hey, I did say we were going to dive into Red Rock, but I think... I think I'm not super comfortable with how weak we are right now. <laughs> Let's at least buy some skills, right? Mm, can't afford these. I need to have 23 Ego to get Sharer, huh? Uh, so for now, how about we pick up... <laughs> snake Oiler sounds pretty good. Let's work towards Snake Oiler then. Bam. Yeah, there we go. Snake Oiler sounds good to me. Messing Stare. We could go to Red Rock, but you know what? Let's play it safe. I almost died several times today <laughs> to giant mechanical beetles. So let's play it safe and just head on to head on to the Rust Wells this time. Whew. Oh, we're at a we found a village. Well, hey, stroke of luck, I say. See if we can make some friends while we're at it. We have, uh... Demure, huh? We do have that one thing. Oh, wait. Is that... It's a merchant. Let's go talk to the merchant. Hi, uh, Tum. Okay, similar name to someone I know, but not quite the same. Are you sure you're really someone else? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Musket, salvage enter, advanced toolkit. Ooh. How would I sell you my boots? That, that'll, will that do? And I have my fishy launcher, which is pretty cool. Metal folding chair. I have five of these? Why am I carrying five of these around? I mean, they're probably not worth the weight, so let's just sell them for a very minimal amount of money. And in exchange, we'll buy... Uh... I don't know what we're going to buy. Bullets, I guess. Bullets and a water skin? Yeah, that sounds fine to me. Bam. We should have a decent supply of supplies once we hit up the mines anyway. Strange tubes? Strange tubes. Oh. Uh, I think there's going to be a legendary creature here. Like yeah, that, that one there. Fipper Tadal for wood, the sage. Oh. Alright, hey. I have work if you want. Friend, my clan would spend all our time swaying in the wind. After becoming acquainted with the sanctity of the dish known as Kugel Escaping, we changed our customs and imagined new rights. Unfortunately, Tum lost our consecrated emergency services security card. Would you seek it out and return it to us? My people will tell. What people tell me has been taken to Mangafuro. We will compensate you for your assistance. Sure. I mean, I'll take that quest. And how about we uh, become friends, huh? There we go. Look at that. Friends with the flowers in the village of Dunmore. You could teach them how... You could be taught how to uh, make kugel escaping, but I don't feel like it. So I don't need a woman how to make a new dish. Oh, is that a snap job? Just a regular scavenger. Okay. And there's a clay oven in the way. <laughs> oh! Shrine to Zeradok the First, Commanding Inspector of the Soldiers District of El Menorod. In 6823 BR, Zeradok won a decisive victory against the combined forces of Glassblower's District of Aralep at the Bloody Battle of Birnerkuna, though she lost her prize, Commandic Commandicus the blight of swine during the course of the conflict. As a result of the battle, Birkwana was so rife, no, Birkwana was so rife with smashed rubble that it was renamed Potent Bog. Okay. Huh. Recover the treasure. Okay. The bane of swine. Uh. <laughs> I think the pigs would hate me for wearing that, but pigs already hate me, so I don't think it's that big a deal. Hopefully you can make friends with them eventually, but, you know. Ooh, ooh. A Droman caravan used to... Wait a minute, what? Are you a, a warden caravaner? He is. Hello. <laughs> Let's trade. Scale of their armor. Oh, that's really good. And the last time suit is also really good. Very good armor for this level. Painted carbon hammer. Let's take a look. 
Uh, Reshef closed the gates to the Tomb of the Ears, abdicating the throne, and dissolved the Sultanate in order to lift the curse of the Gyre. Okay. Interesting. I'm not sure what, why being a Sultan requires you to... stops you from doing that, but I guess we'll just figure it out. So this village has a lot of good stuff in it, huh? Sounds like I hit quite the jackpot this time. Sell the... Sell the scrap. I can't do anything with this yet. Torches, clubs, copper nuggets. I think I'll just take the extra money. Because I, I could use the water. Still, like, a Dromad Caravan Warden. Okay. I guess that's great. I don't see any other legendary creatures, but there should be at least one more somewhere. Huh. I guess you'll find it in there somewhere. Because usually they have at least one other legendary creature, like a merchant or some kind. Not including the warden themselves. Oh, how do I... Oh. Okay. And while we're here, we might as well make ourselves some Kujal escaping. Mmm, you thirst at half rate. Nice. Not quite as good as the s f sacred food of Joppa, but still pretty great. Alright, so we have a quest. We're going to take a look at where it is real quick. Uh, there's Sanas. This over here is Menkforo. So we want to head over there eventually, but I think these rust wells are way, way closer. So let's go for those first. In a case, I had a great time. This time I didn't die. So <laughs> there's that, right? <laughs> In any case, have a great day, and I hope you guys' adventures through the sands of quad are as fruitful as my own. So long! <laughs>